it's me again thank you for coming back to my channel that's so weird to say my channel i'm such a youtuber oh my gosh but yeah i did a poll on facebook i mean on instagram saying if i should do the blue look or should i do a natural beginner look friendly and the neutral beginner look one shocker i knew it was so here it is and if you want to know how i got this look just keep on watching i promise y'all gonna enjoy it oh my god so first off i want to start this video by saying thank you to everybody for all the support on my first video i was shocked literally like i did not believe i was gonna get that outcome i was thinking okay you know a few people like oh comment hey you know, i like your video i was not expecting a lot of people to be sharing it posting it on their stories letting people like i loved it and it made me feel so so good and confident i was really nervous with doing this and starting this because i know YouTube at the moment isn't at its highest peak. There's a lot of stuff going on and I was like, this is the shittiest time to start it. But I knew this is something that I wanted to do and here we are. And I want to say everybody thank you once again and I hope this channel grows into something. Hope it's big and hope, you know, for the best. If this is the path that God wanted me to take, then shall be. But in the meantime, here we are going to have fun, record videos, and watch my dumbass. Okay. Anyways, as you can see, I have my brows on. Um, I'm still kind of like ugh, in awe of all the love I got. Like, y'all mean the world to me. Thank you. Uh, anyway. Okay. The lids are prepped. They are covered and ready for some eyeshadow. Meanwhile, I'm still playing with it. Okay. I just don't know what we're going to do with this because I want to do an, a beginner-friendly eyeshadow. Well, I do have an I kind of an idea what I want to do with this. I, I don't know anything, how this works, how this blends. So this is what sucks, is I'm not completely sure how it works. I've seen the reviews and everybody says it's bomb, but we're going we're gonna to find out. Okay. So what I'm going to do first... Okay. So... But the way she did this is she did the same color in different tones. I mean, in different textures, textured neutrals. So we have the glitters on the top. We have metallics on the in the second. And then we have like sequins right here, which just have a little bit of glitter. I don't know if it can, the camera, yeah, do you see that? It can kind of pick up the glitter a little bit. And then the matte. Okay. Oh, I just, I'm just obsessed with this fucking huge Esmera link. <laughs> okay so i'm going to go in with soothe which is this one right here and i'm going to use it as my transition tra transition my transition shade <laughs> shade i just gotta let y'all know y'all gonna have to get used to that shit with me I, I don't know how to fucking talk and it is what it is okay so i'm going with the j star at js8 morphe jeffree star collab i'm going to pat that up because that's just what i do and i'm going to take some soothe. There's a little bit of kickback, not too bad. Esta's maña. Esta es maña de andar haciendo esto. That's just what it is. Okay, so we're gonna take soothe on the crease. This is gonna be a transition shade. This is the kind of brush that I'm using. You do not need the exact brush. You can just get one like it. Okay, okay. So this is just a big fluffy blender, and I'm going to use this. Let me zoom y'all in a little bit so you can kind of see what I'm doing. Am I just that ugly right now, or, or what? I think I'm just that ugly. Okay, so... Oh, my God. Okay. So, let's... Oh. oh. Okay, Tati. I see you, boo. 
Oh my gosh, it's not focusing. So just keep blending. You're gonna do windshield wiper motions right here in this. I don't usually do circular motions on the transition shade because I feel like it's no point. So just windshield, windshield, windshield. And then while you are windshield, this is what I like to do. I like to windshield and keep bringing it up a little bit higher. So you can just keep blending. So when I first distribute the product, I'm going to distribute it right here and just blend and then just keep going a little bit up like that. You can, it's your cup of tea, whatever the fuck you want to do. I'm giving it the shape that I want. And just remember, this is just going to be a simple look. It ain't going to be something too dramatical. So y'all don't, it ain't going to be nothing compared to the green look. This is just, okay, I have to, never mind, I stayed in. Okay, next thing that I'm going to use is I want to use Ritual. Ritual, which is the brown right here. It's just that, like, some of these kind of, like, okay. I feel like this color shouldn't be here, you know? I feel like there, sh there should have been a color in between these two right here. That's just my personal opinion because I just feel like the berry just throws off these. That's just me. But who the fuck am I, right? Who the fuck am I? I just buy a lot of makeup and use it all the time. So let's go in with Ritual and I'm going to go in with the Morphe M456. Kind of look like that. Okay. Oh, this is a really pretty chocolate brown. I feel like I'm going to love this right here. So what I'm going to do with this shade is I'm going to keep it right here. Dang, that's a really good brown. Kind of just pack it. Like so. Get most of the product right here in the outer V. And then start bringing it up a little bit, like right here. Like that. And just bring it in just a little bit, not too much. And just start blending it out. <coughs> I wait. There it is. There it is. So, this is something that you can do every single day. My contact. Ugh. You can wear it to work. You can wear it to church. You can wear it to your dick appointment. You can wear it anywhere. Okay. See? And this is pretty much going to be the whole look right here. You know what I'm saying? I want to use the glitter, but that is not a simple natural look. It, that's just not what, what I'm supposed to be doing. See? Just like that. And I'm going to go in a little bit more to pack it in to distribute the product. I want it a little bit more in this way. Kind of like that. And I'm going to start. I don't want to start here because I don't want it too dark here. I'm going to bring whatever the leftover product is from over here. And in the meantime, while I'm blending, as you can tell, I'm not doing, I'm doing a little bit of circular motions just right here to kind of buff it out here. But up here, I'm just doing windshield wiper because I don't want it to go too high. And very light pressure. Now I'm going to get the shape out to the other shadow. You can see what I'm doing here. And just like that. Now, I'm going to go back in with this one and kind of blend those edges. 
I'm not adding any additional product to it, at least not right now. <laughs> the JS10. So it's a flat brush as well. It's just it has a little bit more. It's more more dense, not thick of dense. So I'm gonna go in the shade Aura, which is like the cream. I'm gonna go right on my lid. Right under, kind of like mimicking the in the crease, but not so much. I'm gonna go back with this, whatever. Not no additional product, just what's on it to blend that together. You see? Do you see what I mean? It is. That is a simple little snatural, like Scott Barnes likes to say, snatural look. Okay? It's not much, but it, it makes you look, mm, you know? You still look fuckable. I mean presentable okay now we're gonna blend those together as you can see I'm applying a little bit more pressure to blend it out out here less pressure more pressure Less pressure, more pressure. Less, more. Got it? Got it. Okay, so we're going to go with Aura again and just do that. Now, what I want to tell you is I know there's people that do their, uh, like to do their face first, which all, like, to be honest, if you do your face first, it's way faster, but it's messier with your eye looks because you just, if there's fallout, if you mess up, you can always go back and correct it afterwards with foundation, with concealer. That's why I like to leave it last because I can, I can fuck with it, you know? For as when I do it over foundation and everything, I'm pretty much fucked because I can mess up, you know, and no, I just, it's more work if you fuck up your eyes. So this is why I like to do this first. Kind of again, but you know, like I'm just telling you what I like to do. Because it looks a little bit lighter than this one. It does. Let's kind of grab a little bit of that sequin color. Yeah, it's a little bit more chocolatey do you can you see really pretty like you can see the glitter in it. i don't know if the camera can catch it but it's like you know it's really pretty i like it i like it it's something that'll look pretty packed on the lid so you're gonna bring the brown it's a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit lighter so it's not too bad but you're going to bring it, I use the sequin, bring it all the way to, I'm trying to double check, I just saw it. So right where your iris, is it, the, is that your iris, the, the little pupil in, 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 the, in the inside, the little circle, the little black one? It's your iris, right? I don't know, but don't, the, the little, the little black dot in your eye, right in the middle. Don't judge me, I'm not a doctor, so I don't know every scientific term for that but you know what the fuck I mean mm -hmm. and this is how I like to blend this I barely like like kinda you see what I'm doing like tap and kinda like shoo 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 you know something like that you know, like that, like that, like that. Mm 
Blend the edges out again. Let me add some little bit more soothe on this this time though. Should I do the aura sequin on it since I kind of just pack it on there? I think I should. Okay, my camera's having trouble focusing today, so I'm gonna have to zoom out a little bit. A ghost! I way! <gasps> Pinchy ghost! See? Oh. I didn't have the autofocus on. Oh, I guess I'm there. Okay, well there's the eyes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some of that aura, the little sequin shade, and kind of pack it on the lid. Just because these sequins, as what I've been seeing on the videos, is that you're not supposed to blend these pretty much because the glitter will go away. So this is more of like a little, ooh, like a little just pack thing that you're gonna leave on there. Oh, I can't see it because it's fucking dumb as shit. Can, can, can you see it? Like, okay, here, can I hit? I don't know, but I can see it. It's just a really pretty, really pretty little secret shade. So there that is. The little. I think this palette is beautiful, like, very beautiful, but I mean, I can get this look with, you know, some other palettes, but it's still, like, it blends effortlessly, like, I don't really have to, I didn't have to work that much, like, it was just, like, boom, 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 you know, so this is a really good, um, on the go eyeshadow, like, what you can also do is you can, like, get the black right here and kind of just tight line right here and kind of, you know, a little black eyeshadow line. Or you can do regular liner or whatever the fuck you want to do, like I already said. And it might look like nothing right now because it's just a basic bitch eye look. It ain't nothing wild, okay? It ain't no green, no blue, no red. So it's just a senorita decente, you know, vibe. So. Now, let's... I already, you already know how I prime my face, so I'm going to prime my face, and then we're going to try this bad boy out. It smells like something. My Barbies. It smells like my Barbies when I was little. Okay, I think it's this that smells, because this side doesn't smell. Okay. Face is primed. Now let's do this shit. Oh my god, I gotta burp again. <coughs> Y'all better be glad it's coming out from here then and not this end. Lord. That's all I gotta say. Excuse me. I burp. I fart. I shit. I piss. It's life, okay? Anyways, so what I'm going to use today is another another few favorites of my foundations, which I want to give y'all, um, like just different. Y'all already seen it. Arrgh. This L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresher. This is the best drugstore mas mascara. Is it crack you're smoking? Am I smoking crack? No, I'm not, because I'll be fucking 50 pounds. I wish. Okay. So, Infallible 24 Fresh Wear Foundation. Badass drugstore foundation. I really like it. It's my favorite. I haven't found anyone anything better. I used... Well, I do love the Physicians, Physicians, Physicians Formula. Uh, 
their natural foundation, the one that comes with the big old Dofa, Dofa applicator. I really like that, but it's not super full coverage. This one's really full coverage, really beautiful. Works for all kinds of skin types, I think, because I've used this on clients. Um, so, you'll know. And I like to mix that one with my Lancome. My Lancome Taint Idol, 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 Idol Leo Ultra Wear. Okay? I don't speak French, so I don't know what the fuck. Don't, this is me in a bottle right here, okay? This is a beautiful foundation, super full coverage. I like it too. There's no complaints. My favorite is still the, the Pure Cosmetics with the Juvia's because that's fucking full coverage, like I said. Okay? You want to hide that ugly ass attitude, homegirl? Go ahead. Use Juvia's place. Recommend our drugstore foundation that's really bomb. This one, you don't need to go to no fucking Sephora. You can now buy some bomb ass shit at fucking Walgreens. Don't go to Walmart because people like to do ghetto shit to their stuff there. Every time I go to Walmart to buy shit like this, it's always open. It's always fucking tested. Like, you can rarely find stuff that's closed at fucking Walmart because y'all will always ghetto bitches want to go be fucking the, that makeup over there and stealing shit all the damn time. I used to. Hmm. <laughs> My well, mom used to not let me wear makeup. I used to jack some eyeliner back in the day. But I'm above that now. Okay, so leave me alone. You can't sit here and say y'all never fucking stole a piece of makeup from Walmart. Because if you say you haven't, you're a fucking damn liar. Yes, you have. I hope it works. I'm really nervous. So what if it doesn't work? And that's $18 down the fucking drain. I could have bought me a large fucking thin crisp. Thin crisp crust double pepperoni pizza and tested this if this doesn't work okay let's <laughs> here we go okay so we put our little manita in here scoop some product and mm. it actually feels nice Hey, it's working. Oh. Ooh, bitch. It's working. How are there no streaks in my makeup? What the fuck? What are they? Y'all, this is... What? Okay, how is that like... How is this going on so smoothly though, is what I want to know. What got on? And it's like a powder puff. It's what it is. And you can see like all the foundations on top. Okay, Tati Beauty, what kind of brujeria are you doing? I have a moco. I can feel it. Like it's it's scratching me. Yo. Oh, it's actually pretty. So the way you use this is you wipe it on your face, like how you would wipe your ass. You know? I'm pretty sure you all know how to wipe your ass. This is fucking beautiful. Okay. Oh my god. Those. Yo. Okay, I'm throwing all my sponges out. Phew. Yeah. Look at that. Oh my gosh. It just it just blends. Like you just wipe. Who would have thought you had to wipe? See I seen my limpiar and las casas cabronas, mira. I'm gonna Oh my gosh. Mm. Beautiful. Mmm.
Okay, Tati. You did that shit. This is fucking stunning. <laughs> Can't you believe this is just my personality? I'm not even stoned. Y'all should see me when I'm stoned. I'm ten times worse. I have no filter. Mm -hmm. I'm about to block everybody off of Facebook. I'm tired of them uh, sending me that fucking message on fucking messenger of that stupid game that they tried to attack you, that they stole money, that they como chingan, pongas a trabajar. Like all fucking day, people are sending me shit like that, and I'm fucking tired of it. Okay, fucking tired of it. Mm. I don't want to play with you. Leave me alone. Go play with yourself. It's never looked this smooth and snatched. And I didn't even use my full coverage foundation. Imagine if I did. Okay. My favorite. I got foundation in my nose. Okay. Anyways. So my favorite. This is my favorite concealer of all time. Like. This is so underrated. Nobody loves it as give as much love as it sh they should be. It's my favorite. I just love how it looks. It's 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 beautiful. And it's the NARS Radiant Soft Matte Complete Concealer, okay? This little guy. I love it. Like it's my favorite. The way it makes my under eyes look is fucking beautiful. Like I just look beautiful, okay? Like it's like I don't even have to try. It just it's full coverage. Like this is look at that. Do you see how much love this has gotten? Like I hit the bottom. I hit pan already. Me hitting pan. Like I said, I don't. Because I have so much shit, I never finish it. And when I do, it means it's fucking good. Okay? You need this concealer. I love the Jeffree Star one. I love the Juvia's Place one. Tart shape tape's good. Um, what other concealer's good? The MAC. And yes, I use MAC. I use a lot of MAC before you bitches try to come for me talking about the MAC ain't cruelty, ain't cruelty free. Bitch, I see you at McDonald's all the fucking time. The fuck? Okay? Don't come at me because I'm using non cruelty free brands while your bitch ass is a fucking stuff in your a fucking burger and a pizza down your throat. What do you think that's made out of? Dandelions? No, it's not, honey. It's made out of cow. And guess how they get that burger made? Guess what they have to do to that cow? They kill it. Okay? And don't think they just pet it and kill it, bitch. They slaughter that motherfucker. So don't come at me because I use non-cruelty-free makeup. Do you see what they do to the animals, bitch? Do you see what they do to those animals for that fucking burger you be stuffing your face with? No, you don't. Get on my face. Okay? So don't come at me with that shit. Unless you are vegetarian and you've never had a fucking chicken nugget in your life. Then judge me. But bitch, if you fucking eat chicken nuggets and Chick-fil-A and McDonald's and Pizza Hut all the damn time, don't say nothing. Because I will pop you. Let me love my Mac, okay? I love Mac makeup. It is fucking amazing. It's good stuff. Just their eyeshadows suck for the price. Don't do their eyeshadows. Everything else is amazing. So I'm gonna keep using Mac just like you're gonna keep stuff in your face with that burger. With your cruelty free burger. Hmm. Rant over. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply my concealer. And lo voy a hacer con más ganas porque me alteraron. Smile. Oh fuck, I want it a little bit too down here. Oh well, it's okay. So, smile. Okay. This is where you want to highlight. You don't want to highlight all around here. This is where you want to highlight. Where you want the light to hit, it's where you're going to accentuate. Okay? So, I want the light to hit right here. I want the light to hit right there. I want the light to hit at the bridge of my nose. I want to look like I have. Like if I just went to Juarez and got my nose done, okay? I want it to hit right there. 
I want my chin to pop. I want to look like I haven't eaten in fucking two years. Right there. Okay, I want to try this now. So let's try this other edge. This is a, a cream pop. Oh. I was about to say, this is more creamier. It's not... It's uh, it's not like like a, a liquid, so I was like, it might be a little bit harder to fucking blend. But no, bitch, it's even prettier. I just love this country. Like, I feel like it blurs my face and it makes me look porcelain. It's not like the most full coverage concealer that there is. It's not like sh like shape tape, but it it it's pretty. Like it 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 looks prettier on even if it's not as full coverage so whenever you blend for you beginners i want you to start blending down here this is where you blend in first to kind of blend it into your skin kind of let it dry up here because that's where you want more coverage so if you let you the more you let your concealer sit on your face the more full coverage it is it's gonna be of course i'll let it fucking dry all the way out no but you know that's why i go with the edges here first and let that kind of sit because that's where I want to cover more. I want to cover the fact that bitch is beginning on my nerves. Do you see how oh my gosh, my skin looks fucking amazing right now. I can do me. I can I can do myself right now. Wow. Do y'all see how beautiful this fucking concealer is? Like, do you not see how fucking amazing it is? It's fucking beautiful. It okay, so what I'm gonna do now, so this you can do powders. I'm gonna use the little baby, little baby, little baby one to kind of put powder. Star powder. And fair this time. Because I need to use all my shit. I'm already about to run out of the rose one and I haven't even used these. So I'm gonna use all of these. I like to save my good shit for when I'm actually going to go and do something, okay? So that's why I'm not using my... I'm not going to use my Charlotte Tilbury one either because I'm, I'm going to order a new one. I mean, si me quieren comprar uno, háganle. My birthday's coming up in uh, the 15th of February. So I'm in the shade fair, Okay. If you want to buy me all the Charlotte Tilbury powders y'all want because that shit is bomb. Y'all need to buy it too for yourself. Anyway, so let's go and I'm going to go ahead and get the big old chingadera here. Ooh. It like really presses the powder in there and that's what I like. This is cute. I like these so far. And they said that you can wash the the sponges in the washer you can throw them in those little lingerie bags or whatever the fuck they call them and you can uh put it in there in the washer you can wash it with your zote soap you know so there i am baked now what i'm going to do is i'm gonna i was gonna okay you're like say you didn't cream contour because like i did last time i don't cream contour this is beginner's makeup. You don't need... No, it's not easy for everybody to cream contour because it's kind of... It's a little bit more difficult to work with than powder. It's not hard. It, it isn't by any means. But then again, I've already grabbed the technique down. I was actually contouring before it came a thing, you guys. I'm shook because when I started doing my makeup, I remember this is how I used to do it. I would go... I would do the Scott Barnes technique. So when I watched Tati's video with Scott Barnes, I was shook. Like, I was like, oh, I used to do my makeup like that. I used to get a concealer, use it first, because I had, um, I had a, I always had trouble skin. So I used to use, like, a concealer, um, but it wasn't even that much of a concealer. It was more of, like, a, I think it was Age Rewind or Maybelline Fit Me. One of the two. I did that first. I didn't use primer. A primer wasn't really that much of a thing. I did that, and then I would go with a darker, like, um, foundation a cream like foundation and go under just like dot it a little bit just because i felt like it gave me a more oomph and then i would go in with the bb cream i would use bb cream 
okay to add full for add more coverage to everything so i would go with the bb cream and then on top of the bb cream i would go in with the foundation and then i would use i remember it was a l'oreal lumi um it was a little quad like this and it had like a blue purple um white and green did i say green i don't know it was like th three or four colors pink maybe and it was like a little uh color correcting highlighting thing and i would use that under my eyes to make them highlight i was like oh i was ahead of the fucking game y'all and i didn't even fucking know it mm. so i'm kind of gonna grab this chingaderita again and just kind of with the fenty beauty powder this fenty beauty I use, I just have a mini one because I have a shit ton of powder. And it's a lot of product in here. Like, this bitch is full all the way to the top. Like, all the way full and there's still some. This is still a really beauty, uh, beautiful powder. This is Fenty one. I really like it. It really blurs out. But it had ain't got shit on Charlotte Tilbury's airbrush flawless finishing powder. Darling! Every time I put that, I just want to be like, darling, you look ravishing, darling. Oh, darling, 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 you know? Gosh, why do I look so stunning right now? That Tati Beauty fucking sponge is it, though. Basic shit for bronzer. Um, And if you're not access to, like, good brushes, like Morphe, they're really good. I like their brushes. I use mainly Scott Barnes now. <laughs> Look at me, bougie bitch. I use this the Scott Barnes because they're... I just feel like... I don't know. You have to try them. You have to be on your basic bitch brushes, you know. Morphe. We're all, we all use... It's a basic bitch brush. Do not get offended. If you get offended easily, I'm going to let you know now. This is not the channel for you. Okay? Just don't. Morphe is a basic bitch brand. It's it's awesome. I love it. I use it. I'm a basic bitch, but I can be basic bitch too. But that's just what it is. That's what I call it because it's a makeup that everybody uses. Scott Barnes is not a basic bitch brand. I just gotta let y'all know that. It is a pour me my martini dry with two olives brand, okay? It's not a fucking Tecate Light brand. It's just something that not everybody uses because it's expensive. But you get for what you pay for. Always remember that. Okay, I need to do an example on brushes real quick. So, and you can just tell the quality from it. Like, you can just feel it. And a lot of your makeup application and a lot of how you look has to do with the tools you use. So if you use fucking cheap shit that ain't good quality, there's cheap shit that's good quality, don't get me wrong, but there's stuff that just, is it so if you go to fucking family dollar and you're gonna get you some la colors don't expect it to look to work good on your face because it just they just use cheap shit and it's not gonna work it's gonna shed it's gonna look like shit so i feel okay look for example do you see this brush do you see how all the like they have palitos and like all crooked sticking out everywhere like, there we go can you see that this is a morphe brush really i still like it it's a really good brush. I don't mind it. Um, versus like a, okay, a Scott Bronze brush. This is just, mm, it's the softest. Really, it just does the work for you, man. Like, there's no fucking... I cannot explain how good these brushes are. Ever since I got them, I do not use pretty much anything else. Like, I, I this is what I use. See, there's this one for Morphe. It already lost its, its shape. And there's already, like, the little pelito sticking out from it. Okay? I had these probably, like, a few months. Not even a few months. Just a little bit longer than these. Okay? And the moment I got these i stopped pretty much using these and i've used it about the same amount of time if that makes sense that i've used these and just look how these are already like all all janky and wanky and i i just this used to be like and it had a different shape but look i'm just gonna tell y'all do y'all see 
Do you see that? Do you see the pelos and everything? Just look at that. Like, it's just... These aren't going to last you as long as what these would, okay? So if you're going... If you want... If you want, you don't have to invest in some good tools. That Tati Beauty shit, this is fucking beautiful, okay? That's fucking amazing. I love it. I would need to order more. So, as like I was saying, MAC brush had this for years and it still looks better than what my morphe ones do okay it I, I just you just have to really get i just don't know what i'm trying to say here like i don't want people to get all fucking butt her like oh you're calling me a broke bitch no i'm not calling you a broke bitch because i'm a broke bitch okay but i invest in good quality tools in order to do this i am not just a makeup enthusiast a lover an artist i am a creator i love makeup this is my art my face is my canvas i this this is just my art okay so i don't think of it i don't think of makeup as a oh i love makeup like everybody loves makeup okay it's a thing right now it's hot shit it's a trend everybody wants to do it it's never been like that for me i've loved makeup since I want to say 13 years old when my um my dad he lives in Mexico so we would go I was always over there we would go to like the segundas and people would bring you know you know those cheap makeup palettes those big old palettes that had like a thousand colors I would always go sneak off and buy those and I would do crazy makeup art like I was always doing it because I loved it like it just my love for makeup is just it's more than just makeup. I just don't know how to explain it. Like, I feel sometimes that makeup saves my life, in other words, can maybe. Like, it, if I get super angry or if I lose my cool, I can just sit down and I'll just start and I'll forget about what I was mad about. Like, it's my other drug. It's my weed. It's that's just what makeup is for me so it's my like i said it's my craft it's my art it's more than what i just i just have no words to explain it really because you have to feel it and be me to understand it because the process to do this it, it's not just one product and let's go the process it takes the tools it takes the money it takes to invest in all of this it's, I'm Van Gogh, okay? I, this is my Picasso. This is me. This is my art. So I like to invest in good quality things. My husband always gets mad because you already have this. You have this color. You have this. You have this shade. I don't have this shade. I have 10,000 browns, but they all tell their own story. That's how I see it. You can't get a look like this with just one shade of brown. You know what I mean? Like, I just blew off of topic. Like, I just went a whole different level with this. But I want y'all, if you really truly love makeup and you truly want to learn and you want it to be a part of your life, you have to invest in it. That's all I'm going to say. You have to build your collection and, like I said, invest you want to have bomb makeup, you want to have a good snatched face, you're not going to get that with just anything. Like you can have, you can have the hand and you can make things work. Yes, you can do that. But when you have the perfect tools, it just makes it so much easier. It just makes everything so much easier. We all know that regardless if it's makeup or if you are a dj or if you are a photographer if you are a mechanic you know your own bubble you know what works best for you you know that this tool is not going to work the same as this tool even if they're the exact same thing one's cheaper one's more it's not going to cut it so morphe is really really good for the price like it's really good bomb products but they're not gonna last you as long they're not like you're you can have i've already gone through there's brushes that i've had to thrown away i i wish i had more um 
more um okay let me see i have a mac brush for example that i've had i've had for years as well okay this one no wait that's not it i mean this is one of them but that's not it this one this brush i've had it for i want to say seven years seven okay do you see how well put together it still is it's still beautiful i've used it over and over like even the i know this one's not the numbers haven't rubbed off yet but i have some that the numbers rubbed off look how beautiful it still looks wash okay let me get in the, this one do you see how they get they were skinnier they were like put more put together like this and they've already fluffed out i have a few of them that's that's done that do you see that look at that like these were like this when i bought them okay and do you see how they've gotten i've washed this as many times as i washed these if not 20 times more because i've had it longer and do you see how well put together it is versus these okay these still I don't want people to be me that I'm bashing Morphe because I'm not because I love their brushes. I love their brand, but it's not, not going to last you. So these you are going to have these brushes. Maybe they're going to last you five years and then you're going to have to throw them away and get new ones. And that's I've had this one seven and it's still going strong. OK, that's why I, just did, I went on a big ass rant about what I was trying to get. At. I need to rant over. OK. I need to move on. Okay, so my face is set with that powder. Now I'm going to go over with my Jaclyn Hill. We know the drill. But anyways, I really highly recommend those Scott Barnes brushes. And I've only had them not too long. and But I can tell. Like my makeup looks way better when I use those. Okay, so my face is snatched. I really like this Jaclyn Hill powder. I think you should really invest or get this because it just gives you that glowy look from within. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bronze and I'm just going to use a powder. Like I didn't use cream because it's not really beginner friendly. So I'm going to go in with my cheek leader, my hula bronzer, with my Scott Barnes. And just hug your cheek. Do not, I've already said this in my past video, do not go down, go up. Because you're trying to make yourself look skinnier. And you do not have to start with a lot of um, product. Build. And just keep going. The reason why I think my brushes also last me longer than usual because I have so many of them. Like, come on, guys. Like, do you see this? So I have a lot, so I don't fucking go through them that much. But for you guys who don't, you know, just want this for yourself, I really recommend you investing in fucking expensive, good quality brushes. S Sigma brushes are amazing. I forgot about Sigma. Sigma are really amazing brushes too they're expensive but they are the brush gods they kind of got pushed to the side when morphe came in because of their expensive but their brushes are amazing and there's my bronzer that's really beginner friendly hula bronzer is very very beginner friendly it blends like a dream it's beautiful much i really love the shade of it especially on it fit everybody's skin tone like i feel like i feel like it's a hybrid almost that it kind of like I don't know, like, it like melts into everybody's skin. Like, I love hula bronzer. Now I'm going to do, dang, this video's going to be long. I have to cut it out a lot. Fuck. Now I'm going to go into my blush. And I'm going to use today's sweet cheeks because I like to use the sweet cheeks. Now, what I like to do, I forgot to do my highlight. Okay. This is Jeffree Star Wet Dream. I really love this one as well. These are beautiful highlights. I go in with this first over my blush because I put my brush and kind of blend my highlight and bronzer together. Do you see how beautiful this highlight is? 
It's fucking beautiful. <coughs> oh, excuse moi. Now I'm going to do blush and I'm going to use Sweet Cheeks with my Scott Barnes 64 brush and kind of. <laughs> I'm like bring the excess, put most pack the product here, and then blend it out and bring some back to kind of merge the two. And it's okay if you go overhand on the blush because I feel like the blush is what um wears out the fastest of your face, like it goes away. So it's not always a bad idea to put a lot of brush. It might look blush. It might look crazy at first, but in like 30 minutes to an hour, it will start kind of you know blending in and looking less so now that I sprayed my face I'm going to go ahead and go over with my loose highlight which is I'm going to use the Artist Couture and this is the shade Gold Digger okay look at that looking like a whole duvaline right there It's okay. I don't mind it. Do y'all see what I did there? Do you see? I accidentally grabbed a brush with product on there with black eyeshadow. <gasps> oh my gosh. You can still see it, but oh well. I was supposed to go over. I grabbed a wrong brush. It had black eyeshadow on it. It was to highlight my nose. Okay, what a fucking fail at life. Okay, the eyelashes are on. I use the Length by Perla W08. Aren't these beautiful? I really like these. These are stunning. These are the eyelashes that I use on all my clients. Anyways, so we got the eyelashes on. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to do the lower lash line, which is the last, well, second to last stamp. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my waterline and this is my favorite pencil to do that. To do my waterline in general, this is the NYX Jumbo Pencil in the white. Y'all going to see why though. Do y'all see why I love it? Do you see that? Do you fucking see that like it's the whitest fucking white liner that I have ever found so now I'm going to do my lower lash line and what I like to do is I like to get this a little brush a little paddle brush or a pencil brush whatever you like to use this is what I like this is from the dose of colors palette that I got um I literally kept all those brushes and because I use them for this they're amazing so I'm going to go in with soothe and kind of you know, y'all saw this, so I'm just gonna do it with Soothe, blend Soothe out. There's Soothe, so we're gonna go in with Ritual with the same brush and go right on the outer and kind of blend halfway through. I'm not gonna go all the way to the corner, just kind of where my pupil, where the brown meets the white in the front, just like that. And I'm going to go in with my black flat top and do my favorite technique to make the eye look bigger. I'm going to go in with the black right on the outer. Just kind of stamp it right there. So I'm going to take back that ritual and blend out that black. Um, if you go in with black liner, it's going to look smaller. Your eyes are going to look more chink. If you go in with white, it's going to really open them up. Shoot them. You, do you see that? And then I'm going to do my mascara, which is my KKW Beauty. This is the best mascara in the world right now for me. At least I... <gasps> it's okay. Just need to let it dry and then I'll flick it off. Not a big deal. It's my new little mole. We're going to keep her there. Okay. 
lips 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 so i'm going to use my this color pop combo right here i haven't tried this i've tried the, the lipstick but i haven't tried the liner this is bff2 and this is dream matte so this is what i'm going to use so we're going to remember overdraw and make our lips look bigger there's my lip liner this is once again bff2 Big lips. I didn't have no lips. Now I got lips. No filler, no problem. Now I'm going to go in with my gloss. And my favorite glosses in the whole entire world, besides KKW, are the MAC glosses, the Dazzle Glass. So here it is, guys. My finished look. My neutral, natural makeup for beginners look. How do you, what do y'all think? I'm telling y'all, it is... The easiest thing to do, you just need a few shadows, three, a cream, a light brown, and a dark chocolate brown. That's all you need. I'm pretty sure everybody has these colors. Mm, mm, mm. Um, I hope you really like this. I hope y'all continue to support this channel. And don't get tired of me because I'm such a bitch. Okay, this my new favorite thing in the whole entire world. I cannot do my makeup without this anymore So this is going to be what I'm going to be using. I'm throwing all my beauty blenders away. This is the best makeup tool This is the best invention ever Love it Gonna buy probably buy more so I can have backups Remember you guys liking sharing just watching really helps me out a lot. It's gonna help me grow Thank you so much for supporting me, and I hope y'all continue to be my supporters, and yeah, see you on my next one. Bye.